Hi, welcome to Art Sphere Inc. Online. I'm really glad to have you join us today. Um, I'd like everyone to uh, get your pencils out and a piece of paper. We're going to be putting our paper vertically, so it's going to be taller than it is wide. We're going to be doing today a project that is based on um, the caterpillar life cycle, and our big word for today is metamorphosis. We are going to be transforming this paper um, into a jar and we are going to be um, using a couple of vocabulary words. They are um, parallel and symmetrical. Today we're going to start off doing the life cycle of the caterpillar, um, which starts off um, as a butterfly laying eggs on a leaf the eggs becoming a caterpillar, the caterpillar um, going into a cocoon, creating its cocoon with um, actually makes silk um, that protects itself. The butterfly emerges from the cocoon as an adult again and starts the whole cycle over. So we um, right now we're going to be doing our jar um, and I'm just going to review some vocab words. So eggs, E-G-G-S, cocoon, C-O-C-O-O-N, or a big word for that, chrysalis, that's C-H-R-Y-S-A-L-I-S, butterfly, B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y, and caterpillar, C-A-T-E-R-P-I-L-L-A-R. After you're done your drawing, you may want to also um, label the different parts. Um, and remember, when we're making art today, as in every day, you know, art is something that's really special, and everyone gets to do it their own way. So if you do yours differently, that's great. In fact, we're really excited for you to share it. You can email your photos at info at artsphere.org, or you can share your photos at hashtag love art sphere inc we would love to see your art so we're going to start off making an oval now i suggest for everybody to use a pencil i'm going to use a marker just for the visibility so we're going to make a oval at the top remember this doesn't have to be perfect we're going to make a little bit of squiggles on either side for the tops of our jar. We are going to make a round corner for either side. And then we're going to make parallel lines. Parallel lines are equal distance. So we're going to use the edge of our paper and make a line that kind of follows the edge. And then we're going to do another little corner, a little round. And we're going to make a parallel line goes along the bottom and then we're going to do another little curve and go back up meet this at the very top everyone go ahead and do that with me next we are going to make our branch we want to create a little habitat for our butterfly so it has a home so our branch is going to maybe look like this or maybe it looks differently for yours so you might want to make some smaller sticks at the end. You may want to make it a little wider at the bottom. You may want to create some lines for the bark on your branch. And of course you'll want to add some leaves and some veins on those leaves. We want to create lots of leaves because it's important that the eggs of the butterfly has something to eat. So um, we could create some eggs. We want to have lots of leaves. Um, next, we are going to make our caterpillar. Our caterpillar we're going to do in a series of O's and C's. So I'm going to start off with an O and then you can see my C's. So my letter C's 
and I can make them a little bit smaller at the end. Then I'm going to make some little V's for my feet. Next, I'm going to add a V for my antenna. And next, I'm going to make my butterfly wings. My butterfly wings are going to be symmetrical. That means that it's going to be about the same on either side. I am making sort of C shapes or teardrop shapes and making them a little squiggly. I'm making a circle for the head, an oval for the body, and a thinner oval for the, the tail. So it's segmented into three parts. I'm making the back wings. And then I'm going to add a V for antenna and I'm going to add six legs. You're going to make another butterfly and that butterfly is going to be a side view. So I'm going to make our top big wing, our lower wing, a circle for our head, an oval for our body, a thinner oval for the tail part, and a V. And if you want to get fancy, I'm going to add the back wing. Just little parts of it so you could sort of see it. Okay, so we have our eggs, we have our caterpillar, we have our butterflies, and now the most important part is the stage in between, and that is our cocoon. And I know these days everybody's feeling like we are cocooned. It's a really special stage. That cocoon or chrysalis is a time when our caterpillar creates this protective silk, um, almost like a sleeping bag um, that protects it, um, nurtures it. And I like to think of our homes right now um, as a time where we um, are nurtured and then when we emerge, hopefully we are going to all emerge as butterflies. So I'd like to do some decorations for my butterfly. I'd like to add some squiggles for the wings for details. You may want to get fancier. I'm going to add some circles. I'm going to add again some outside details for the wings and then I'm going to add the veining and it's sort of like the structure that holds the wings together. It's almost you can think about it as like the structure of um, uh, almost like steel for a building. It holds those wings together and protects it um, from like wind and stuff. That veining is really important. Um, we're going to do the same for our side view of our butterfly. And add some details and of course I love it when you do something creative. Maybe there's some other things that you've thought of that maybe we could add on ours. I'm going to add some little details here for our jar lid. Might want to add opening there so our butterflies can fly free. Might want to add a little detail on our stick down here. May want to add more leaves. Might want to add a little bit of a three-dimensional element on the bottom. So that we could see that the glass is curved. You may want to go ahead and add labels. You may also want to add um, color. That would be great. So thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing everybody's jar um, and we'll be sending out a follow-up email for you so that you can um, post your picture and we look forward to seeing that. Thank you very much for joining me today.